So can you give us uh, some case studies of companies that uh, generated media buzz through some of your campaigns that you, uh, that you uh, organized? Yeah, one I love to share about is the cautionary tale. <laughs> because okay. you want to be really, you want, if you're going to do PR, you need to be ready for PR. Because PR <laughs> can be, like, it can cause, we actually caused a breakdown for a client. So it was, we were working with um, a natural food, a pet food company, uh, Dr. Tim Hunt. And we launched a PR campaign for them. And what he yeah. was doing is, is that he, we were offering free samples to the media and the media actually shared it. Well, they're, uh, you know, they're uh, in a very short, within 24 hours, their website received 32,000 product sample requests. Wow. Wow. And they were, they were a small pet food. It, it caused a huge, huge breakdown. So you want to be really careful. And, and it used to be back in the day when Oprah had her show, people would come to us and say, oh, I want to be an Oprah. But they weren't ready for that. You have yeah. to have your infrastructures and everything in place if you're going to do PR because it, it, it can create a bit of a problem if you land the right media, if you're not ready. So you need yeah. to be ready. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's great advice. So what is on your checklist? So you said infrastructure. Yeah. yeah. The, you, yeah. you mean the infrastructure of your website, so your yeah. host must be informed, or what, what would you do? Yeah, so you want to make, yes, for sure. You want to make sure that, you know, your website your, looks and yes. is enrolling. So yeah. one of the things you want to make sure is you want to make sure your website is actually converting. Yeah. <laughs> because you yeah. don't want to send all this traffic to a site and then there's no, it doesn't yeah. convert. <laughs> Another is a powerful call to action, right? So, you know, people come to us and they're like, oh, I want all this media. And you go to the website. There's not even a way for people to collect email addresses. And you're like, what? Okay. So you yeah. want to make sure that then, and then you have your follow-up in place to serve those people. Yeah. So, you know, let's say that you have, you know, 32,000 people sign up for your website. It was a powerful call to action. But then you have things in place to serve those people and take care of those. Yes. Yeah. You've so got to have your back end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So email subscriber um, or having some, some follow ups would be yeah. important. That's also something that I recognize with some of my clients. They want to earn digital revenue, but they, they can't accept money on their website. So this also sounds like a no brainer, but oftentimes uh, these are the basics. So it's good that we speak about this topic. It is, it yeah. is really good. It is good to have everything. You know, when you're doing a PR campaign, you want to have all those basics, your foundation laid. Yes. And I think it's like your website looks great. You've got a powerful call to action. You've got a nurturing campaign to take care of those people. Mm -hmm. You have social media, right? Your social media accounts are the way that they, because a lot of people are going to find you through your social media. Find a way to actually connect with those people so you actually leverage that work that you, you've done to get that media coverage. Yes. Exactly.